Coach, we're talking after the end of the first day of the Patriot League championships. Your thoughts overall on, on both games you saw today? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously, you know, when you get to this season, it's a different season. So um, you can't really look at what came before, what you did before versus them. It's, it's a new chapter. So I think for us, it was just, you know, we pulled out a scrappy win, obviously in the seventh, which was great, showed a lot of resilience. And, you know, in terms of Army and Lehigh, very similar, you know, it's a good back and forth. I think there's four good teams in this tournament and four teams right now that seem to be playing similar softball. So, um, you know, I think it's going to be a dogfight till the end. And then the seventh inning, you're, you're down a run. I mean, what did you uh, see from the team in that inning? You know, I just, I just appreciate their competitiveness. And I think that's one of the parts that we've preached in the beginning, like just compete. If you have an out left, you have a chance and you have to continue to fight. And I thought that we did a really great job, you know, Coker with a lead, with a lead off walk, obviously, you know, we had one out, but her just getting on base, you know, kind of set the tone. And then, you know, Kelleher came up big, which she's done time and time again lately. Um, you know, then obviously you give our two RBI Queens a chance to kind of fight through it. And I felt like they both had really scrappy at bats. I would not say pretty, I would say completely scrappy. And, um, you know, they got themselves to a position to fight off pitches and then, you know, kind of find a hole up the middle. So I don't think we could have hit the ball in a better spot twice in a row, just in terms of like directly over second base, but, you know, it's, some days it's your day and you're lucky and then other days it's not. And, you know, I felt like for us in that seventh inning, like their kind of fight, their grit, their heart, you know, that put us in a position to win. Um, I would just love to see it sooner. You know, I think that we could have had bats like that earlier in the game and, um, you know, tried to generate some stuff. I think, you know, it's great when you can step up with pressure on the line, but at the end of the day, you know, if we had done that a lot sooner, you know, it would have been a different feeling going to that seventh. And overall, how'd you think Allie pitched? I thought she did a good job. You know, I think that Colgate's a really good hitting team. I think, you know, they did a pretty good job off her when we went down there um, to Hamilton. So, you know, she had to pitch in the rain. So, um, you know, she had missed a couple of her pitches early on. And then she came in behind Lizzie to finish out that Sunday. But, you know, it's a little different when you have run support. And I think obviously when we were at Colgate, it was significant run support. Um, here, it, it's a little bit tighter. Every pitch really makes a difference. And I thought down the stretch, she did a good job executing what she needed to execute. So, um, you know, I, I feel like they scored on the fact that we gave up a leadoff walk. They scored in the fact that we gave up a leadoff um, error. You know, so for us, we just have to clean up those little pieces and, and keep people off the base pass because the more times they pass the bat, the more they see her, you know. So for us, it's a matter of continuing to kind of mix it up and changing. But, um, you know, I'm happy she got the first win and, and got it under her belt. You know, that's her first playoff win. <laughs> you know, so if you look at it, you know, we've had a, the same kid on the mound the past couple of years. And, um, you know, Gant's the only one actually there with pitching experience in the tournament. So um, really happy for her. And, and I think now she'll settle in a little bit more. And actually, a lot of the kids were on the team that won last year, but this is the first time to have fans at, at the game for most of these players. So, I mean, what do you think that dynamic adds to this year's tournament? I mean, I thought today was pretty special. I think when you look over on the side of our dugout, you know, there's a lot of administration, there's a lot of faculty, a lot of staff, um, a lot of coaches, you know, I think that atmosphere, that's just exciting. And I think really in the seventh inning, it was a mix of like, you know, our team having the energy and then also, you know, getting the energy from uh, outside the dugout a little bit from our fans. So pretty exciting finish. And, you know, I'm glad that they got to go on the roller coaster ride with us, but we definitely appreciated the support today. <laughs> And like you said, it was a scrappy effort. But um, before we started this interview, we were kind of talking about uh, the roster. And the one player who I think has really stepped up the past few weeks is Lauren Kelleher. If you can just talk about what she's been bringing to the table uh, these past few weeks. Yeah, I mean, we've even used Lauren as an example in practice, just solely based on the fact that if you look at her walks, you know, I think I heard someone from the dugout today yelling 33, you know, and that's like her 33rd walk. And, you know, I think it's one of those pieces where her patience and her ability to actually wait to get her pitch is something that, you know, you know, she's seen the ball well when she's there, but, you know, she's, she's uh, been tremendous the past couple of weeks. And, you know, honestly, the whole entire year, I think there's good days and bad days, but she's been pretty consistent. And I think the one thing about her is her on-base percentages is through the roof. So her and Kayla Ronson do a really great job of getting on, but there's no one more disciplined than Lauren Kelleher. And I think in big moments, Moments, that is essential. And then uh, looking to tomorrow, you're going up against Lehigh, who you went one and two against uh, last weekend. Just uh, what's it going to take to advance to the championship round? 
Yeah. I mean, I think for us, offense is really going to play, you know, a significant role in tomorrow. I think for us, we weren't able to really generate and get the bats going last weekend. I think we had sporadic hits, but didn't really string anything together. Um, you know, it's a, we're a good offensive team. And I think the past couple of weeks, we just haven't kind of found our groove. So, you know, hopefully a good night's sleep tonight, a nice day tomorrow, maybe tomorrow's the day that we kind of break out of it. Um, but, you know, I'm excited for them to, to be in a position where they, they did win and, um, you know, to have a chance to go back at Lehigh tomorrow, you know, we weren't getting through this tournament without facing them at some point. So, um, you know, we just have to do our job and, and continue to kind of compete at the plate and get our pitches. So, you know, hopefully we're generating runs early and often. And then uh, finally, you, you mentioned that this is a new season and we've seen both Lizzie and Allie really support each other and help each other in, in different games and saw Lizzie go into the pen uh, several times. How do you prepare her and Allie uh, for this uh, postseason? Do you treat it the same as a coach or because it, it could be a uh, over, season over, do you kind of look at it differently as a coach? I think both of them know that they need to be ready 100% at any point. You know, so I think for them, it's a matter of they've done this the entire year. We've relied on both of their arms and the amount of times that they've spent warming up during the other person's game, just waiting for that moment. If someone needed backup, someone needed help that they could step in and do the job. So um, it'll be a similar feat tomorrow. I think for both of them, they understand it doesn't make a difference who's on the mound. They know the other ones behind them. They also know that at the end of the day, it's a win that we're fighting for. So um, really supportive of each other. I heard Lizzie at one point today give Ellie a hug and tell her she was doing excellent. You know, and it's just one of those pieces where they're incredibly supportive of each other, and it's a really special bond. Um, and I think that they both recognize whoever's on the mound, whoever's kind of fighting for our team, you know, they're both in it to win it. So um, I got a good duo, and I'm, I'm excited about it. But, you know, they'll have each other's back for the entire weekend, and I'm sure at some point you'll probably see them both. Right. Well, thank you uh, for joining me, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it.